elevator code blue function. Code blue elevator function is provided as a response to a medical emergency hospital service by an authorized nominated caregiver. A valid code blue access card needs to be swiped at card reader in the lobby to activate elevator to code blue function. Elevators are designed and installed to work in groups, so it is highly recommended to understand elevator grouping to successfully utilize code blue function. Additional training is provided to code blue for the utilization of code blue operation. How to activate code blue? Code Blue nominated caregivers will be assigned Code Blue access cards. Once a caregiver swipes the card on Access Card Reader, the Code Blue dual light located above the elevator push button will illuminate on that particular floor as a confirmation of Code Blue activation. Before elevator reaches your floor, you will hear a buzzer at incoming elevator. When elevator responds on Code Blue call and reach the floor, Doors will start to open. Buzzer will stop when the doors are fully opened. Elevator will stay parked with the doors opened and wait for the passengers to leave and code blue team to enter the elevator and press the desired floor. If no elevator has responded for 60 seconds, caregiver shall swipe the card again and wait for a new registered code blue call. Please enter into the elevator and register only one call by normal pressing the button for desired floor. Please do not press the button twice for your desired floor. Pressing the button twice will cancel the call for the desired floor. As a result, the elevator will stay parked in cold blue mode two minutes before door closing and automatic restore to normal operation. Press and hold shortly door close button to make one express travel to desired floor. Please ensure that there are no obstacles in the door panel zone where door sensor is installed. If it is, doors will not close or start closing and immediately reverse. When elevator reach desired floor, it will open the doors automatically and wait that you leave. After the doors are fully closed, the lift will be automatically restored to normal operation. As a confirmation, the screen display in the elevator operation panel will have a normal look without cold blue safety message. This section will provide information on how passengers within the elevator will be notified with cold blue elevator response. Passengers who are in the elevator at the moment of activation of cold blue shall experience the following. All the existing register travels will be cancelled and the elevator will travel to the code blue floor. Voice announcement and visual signage at the display in the elevator will instruct passengers to All passengers, please exit the lift. After the voice announcement, a buzzer will be activated and remain on until the elevator reach code blue floor and fully open the door. The elevator will stay parked in the code blue floor with open doors and wait to receive only one code blue instruction by an authorized person who register a code blue call. Please follow the announced instructions, exit firmly and do not try to press any button since elevator is responding on emergency code blue call. If the elevator responds on code blue call and there is no attendance to the elevator and registered call, elevator will return from code blue to normal mode after two minutes. If the code blue call is registered and door close button not pressed, elevator will remain in code blue mode until button is pressed or call cancelled. If one code blue call is registered and it is by mistake a wrong call, Call cancellation is possible, but it is not possible to register any call after the first one is cancelled. In that case, you have to wait 120 seconds or move to another elevator and activate code blue. Code red. 
emergency fire operation of elevator shall override cold blue operation. If the elevator is currently in an independent service, manually controlled and working out of the group, this elevator will not respond on a cold blue call.